Oh god. Just as I thought I had seen everything in humanity and nothing more could shock me, my god have I seen the most disgusting greaseball monkey in the world. Jesus Christ, hillbillies above. This man. <sighs> Jesus Lord, you, I, I'm, I'm lost for words. If you don't, if you haven't seen a certain videos making the rounds on the internet, it's been delivered to your front door. This gentleman by the name of Josh has something called a piss closet. A piss closet. You've heard me right. Uh, if you don't know, if you can't work out what the two words mean, it means he wees in a closet. He pulls down his trousers, removes his flab rolls, gets his little wiener out. So big penis! And has a piss in a cupboard. Liar! What, you don't believe me? Look, if someone told me that, I wouldn't believe myself either, but I have physical evidence, hard evidence. Do you want to see it? Mm. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Play that. Hey guys, it's your boy Josh, and today I'm- Well firstly, I'm already sensing a slight aroma of autism, which there's no- nothing wrong with, don't get me wrong. But do you smell that? I know you're getting a bit of hint of piss and a bit of autism as well. Yeah, so am I. Well, let's put it like this. This bloke needs some serious, serious catering to. I think he needs to go back and live with his mum and dad's house and have a little bit of emotional support. Secondly, I don't, you know, I don't want to be mean here, brother, but jump in the shower if you're gonna, you know, broadcast to the world that you have a piss cupboard. You want to at least put on a suit and tie, you know, look your best. Put a bit of wax in your hair, push it back, get yourself looking fruity. I'd maybe even consider brushing my teeth, but you know, that's just kind of me. But we're not here to be mean, we're here to laugh and be mean. I'm gonna show you my piss closet. Oh my god. I'm sorry to keep pausing it. Look how happy he looks that he's got a piss closet. He is so ecstatic and cheerful about this that he actually has to put on a smile. He puts on a smile and he is proud of what his so-called piss closet. He thinks this stuff is going to actually achieve a war. He's going to be a winner. He will not lose this battle of the piss closet. He is entering the competition, the championships, the global championships of having a piss closet. And he can't wait to demonstrate his act. He thinks he's a winner. He's never met a man with more more piss in a closet than this guy. He knows the competition and he's smashing it out of the park. Oh my god. I do I need to show you any more? That is a serious question. What in the freaky Fridays is this? This is d making me feel uneasy. It's about 10 a.m. when I'm filming this in me. I've not eaten. I've had one coffee, a black coffee. You know what coffee does to your bowels? I think. I just shat myself. And now I have to see this. He's got bags of trash, Starbucks cups. It's like a hoarder who can't be asked walking to... Well, he, he's a hoarder who can't be asked walking to the toilet. I mean, this isn't even a bloody cupboard anymore. This is a room. It's expanding. He's lost all sensibility and control over this disgusting habit. Yes, my piss closet. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. God. He sounds so like proud, but also so he's really sexualizing it. Do you not think he he's so oh my piss closet? I am such a king. I am the king of the piss closet. Do you like what you see? Kneel before my piss closet. It's absolutely freaky as fuck. He's got roach oh flies, it's making me scratch. You can see them from here. He's got food and oh god. Oh god, what do you, how do you think he disposes of said closet? Do you think it's just going to be there for the next 20 years until he, you know, dies of a heart attack? You know, 20 years would be a fucking fantastic life for someone like this. Granted, however, let's say he lives a couple years. Imagine if you bought this house or you're his parents and you go in to try, you know, get something, I don't know, what would you do when people die? Get something to put on his funeral, you know, to put on the coffin, whatever. You what the fuck is that? <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God, he's got room for pissing in. He's not even going to go to the toilet. That is grim. It's an absolute joke. I, I don't get it. Yeah, come on, he's about to show us a big bird's eye view of this bad boy, so we'll be able to get it the full scale, the full capabilities of it. Let's see if this guy's the real championship of pissing in a closet, shall we? Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. So, hell yeah, and then he sounds like Darth Vader, and fuck yeah. So he's clearly very quite proud, and feels he's doing a noble cause. He almost sees himself as a Superman-like character. He's saving the population by having this piss closet. It's like, fuck yeah. Yeah, bro. Oh, God, it's disgusting. I didn't want to see it all. I only wanted to go back five. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh. 
Oh, God, ladies and gentlemen, this is just horrific. I mean, I'm so sorry I had to share this piece of information with you. It's people like this who truly put a dent on society and make me feel like I was not meant to be here. I do not understand what make people want to do this. I mean, watching this again is disgusting. I, I, I don't think I can. I quit, I quit, I quit. I'm sorry I've put you through that. We can't, we can't continue to watch it, however. It's too disgusting. It's making me feel like I should kill myself. So if I don't ever upload a video, I want all blame. I'll write a note blaming John. Josh, the pisser in the cupboard. It was all his fault. But we'll look at some Fortnite dances instead. We'll get John Wick up. In conclusion, this is why I've lost trust in humanity. You cannot ever go to someone's house again knowing that they have what is known as a piss cupboard. Imagine if you met this guy on the internet and suddenly Tinder, you have a nice date, you go to McDonald's, he buys you a cheeseburger and a large Coke. You think, oh, this is the life I could live. I could get on board with this. Three cheeseburgers for life. Yes, please. Only problem is he sounds like Darth Vader. Doesn't sound like he can go up a pair of stairs and well, apart from that though, three cheeseburgers. You you go back to his house, you enter the door, there's a slight aroma, you think nothing of it, you slowly walk inside hoping that there's not any dead bodies or heads hiding in fridges, you enter the room, also known as the shag pad, and what do you see? Nothing, it looks quite normal. You decide to explore, you enter, you pursue, hmm, nice, he's got a cool gaming setup, a few cups on the floor, that's normal, he's a hardcore gamer, bro, bro loves Roblox. You enter the cupboard, you see something dripping in the corner on the floor, what is that? A leak? You open the cupboard door slowly. And behold, what can only be described as a nuclear wasteland of piss. Your eye sees up, you start to cry, your face melts from acid reflux, you drop to your knees and die. May he rest in pieces. You are but the fifth victim of Josh and his piss cupboard. You will now be turned into mashed potatoes which he will eat all week because you have fed him with your dead brain. Anyway, I'm not sure what that was. Poor, poor humanity. We should just all be expelled and put on a boat and sent to fucking space or something like that. This is just tragic. Josh, if you are truly a human being, mate, sort your life out. Invest in a toilet or at least start pissing in bottles and throw them out the window because pissing inside a room is just disgusting. Oh, God. I, I, like, I have to go about my whole day thinking about this. You understand what that means to a man. But, yeah, anyway, bye. Oh, my God.